These are the world's most fuel-efficient CSOVs, and I'll tell you why. When we decided that we wanted to build these two CSOVs, we had three main focus areas. Reducing our total emissions, increasing comfort for our crew and clients, and maximizing the operability of the vessel. When we started looking at the carbon footprint of these vessels, we looked at everything. Everything from the propellers, to the use of battery and permanent magnet technology, and variable speed generators. We even regenerate energy from the gangway systems and from heat exchange systems. Another key factor of these vessels is of course the comfort levels. It's a key factor that our crew and our clients are fully rested and ready for their missions. By creating large, open public spaces and smaller facilities for people to enjoy their time off, we believe we have created the perfect environment away from home. Another key factor is the operability of the vessel. The way the vessel is designed with the hull shape and the placement of the propellers allows for very good sea keeping capabilities and station keeping capabilities. This together with a leading gangway system provided from Ampelmann and a 3D crane from Motus, we are pushing the boundaries for safe offshore operations and increased operability. When we sat down and started working with Ulstein, we were quite fascinated by the twin extern concepts and how this allowed for optimum placement of the thrusters, both in the fore and the aft of the vessel. By utilizing this four-wheel drive system, you gain increased efficiency and operability at sea. We have seen these vessels in operation and can now prove close to 50% reduction in fuel consumption compared to other sailing CSOVs. Olympic and the Maritime Cluster once again prove that we can take brilliant ideas and turn them into industry-leading vessels. <laughs>